Hello guys, it's Car Food Company and today we will be making some blob sweats. This blob idea design I took from WAP project, so big shout out to them, link on their Instagram will be in the descriptions. Also we will be working in SolidWorks 2019, but you can work with any card related software, either Fusion 360, Cray Parametric, Autodesk, or etc. Let's get started. So I really like to start my modeling with adding some axes to my modeling tree. Let's uh, check this point and face dash plane and we need to select our starter point and the top plane. Great, we now have our axis and this axis will help us a lot with our modeling. Then let's make some base for our ways. I'm going to the top plane sketch making a circle with 150 millimeter diameter and I really like to extrude it to 200 by the way this dimension will be fitted on the under 3 printer but I think it's not fitted on the Prusa one so you need to figure it out your dimension for this printer on your own or just scale this ways down a little bit and also all dimensions that I'm using in this tutorial I am found based on my own experience with trial and errors next we need to do our first blobs go to the side plane normal two. let's make some sketches here also we need uh, also we need to add, 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 add a circle wait a minute let's double check this normal two sketch circle okay draw a circle add this some dimensions for these circles here should be 69 my favorite number by the way and here should be 42 it's just a random number that I got from my head now what we need to do else we need to click here on the circle hold shift click on the bottom edge and make them tangents so the bottom edge should touch the circle add a line and then trim the one half of the hour circle go to the feature set go to revolve boss base and choose that line that's left after the trimming great our first blob on our ways but it's not looked like a real blobs ways yet <laughs> let's add some circular pattern the number for blobs i really like to use 13 direction should be our axis great and as we're using the uneven numbers of the blobs we can use the same plane to make another sketch like uh, it will be the second floor of our blobs for this sketch i really like to use wireframe mode draw a circle at the same dimension as uh, for previous one 69 for here 32 for here and the trick part is to click the circle shift hold click this point and make them coincident great add a line frame the circle click here click here revolve choose our lines that left of the trimming after the trimming and now we have the second blobs on the second floor of our ways and let's again make a circular pattern by the way don't forget to uncheck this box on all the patterns that we will create in this tutorial this extremely important step uncheck the geometry pattern every time great now we need to expand this in the upper direction or on in the y direction. How we can do that? We need to use a linear pattern. Direction for our pattern will be the axis again, different direction. So how to calculate the amount of value we need for this operation? First of all, let's check the first floor. I think the three repetition will be enough. And this number, how did I calculate it? It's super easy to calculate. 
we just need to click here click here take this, this distance 20.42 20.42 multiply by 2 and we need to add another one set of distances click here click here choose the shortest one like this green line 10.63 plus 10.63 multiplied by 2 and we got the distance that we needed great here you can see a little triangle but don't these triangles don't really matter because it will be merged after the printing so basically it is that is the way that we are looking for but as you can see and as you can notice we have a different amount of the material from the top surface to our blobs and bottom surface to our blobs right here we need to make these distances equal so I'll go again to the side plane normal to i really like to go to the sketch make two lines make sure that these lines are horizontal great select the bottom edge click shift hold tangent great select again repeat this for the top one click tangent great Okay, let's find the, find the center of our rays. Click here, click here. So this line should be touching our top and bottom lines. After that, uh, click the rectangle. Let's find the center. Just grab your mouse somewhere here and you find the spot. Okay. I believe some was something around 197 should work great. So I, what I'm looking here for, I need to understand that this rectangle fit on the base. This line on the base. This line on the base too. Now we can make a cut through all. And we need to cut not a rectangle but outside of our rectangle so flip side to cut great all we'll have to do to add some thickness to compensate the distance that we trim it right now i'm go here as the surface sketch convert entities features extrude 1.8 because previously dimensions was wine 197 sketch maybe the numbers is different in my head and mouse but double check it please features extrude 1.5 yeah so yeah this is the way that we are looking for but we need to add some cuts and the technique that i will use here is super unique uh, and there's no easiest way to do that we need to copy this body make sure all the numbers here set to zero and check this box copy great okay agreed here now we need the scale one of the bodies uh, uncheck uniform scaling and we don't need to scale onto the y directions because we need to keep the height of our race equal for all the bodies check any bodies you want make put here these numbers make the scale so basically the second body will prevent our car to go further to the center of our ways before we make our first cut let's add some sketch that will help us in the future convert entities go out okay go to the top of the ways my basically all the ways make with a straight cut I just draw a line like here then check the extrude cut through all scene features mid plane 0 0.08 deselect auto select and select outer body yeah and this will be our cut all we have to do is repeat it on the circle pattern 
but you know what let's try my to make something different for this tutorial because this basically ways you can download from the calls 3d or my patreon and let's make it a little bit different delete the previous operation delete the sketch we don't need it anymore go to the side plane a sketch of course and let's make interesting looking cut go to the, this uh, equation driving curve and put this text here cos x divided by 10 and multiplied by my favorite number from here 0 from here to 100 and we got something like this okay this we need additional line here because solid works like a little pack don't want to listen to us what what we want to do put this line one side here and other side here great looks what we heard what i told you before what the heck is this what the heck is this i don't really understand let's what the heck is going let's delete this the red color means that we have some errors and i really don't understand what are those errors let's try control z everything let's try to delete this so as you can see all this a uh, whole try and error trials and errors also i don't really understand why it's not 200 millimeters height check this check this 200 okay okay let's uh, go next it's don't really matter that's good that we have a little bit to go out of our ways and we need to make the same here extend this curve a little bit now features extrude cut what we need to do we need to make a through all the select selection number two i really like to work in these directions we need to add offset from our center uh, let's type 50 scene features as always mid plane 0.8 yeah so as you can see we forgot to uncheck the all bodies and select only outer body let's quick fix it clear the selections and select the outer body as i told before the second body prevent our cut to go further to the center of the vase okay the second part will be repeating this whole process by the way this this looks kind of cool i guess the number I use almost in every my vases around 200, but sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher. It depends on the vase shape and the size of this vase. But with this now, with this number, you can uh, how to say this. You can really control the thickness of your vase. Two factors related to this its scale of the second object and the numbers of the cards that we created right now it takes some time but in few moments we will get a beautiful result and also don't forget to check this numbers of cards to work well in the cura wow it's basically the second time when I'm using this type of slides and you know what it's lo looking just amazing okay and what else we need to do remember the sketch that we created before on the top of our ways we need this sketch to help our printers to print the first layers 
because if printer will be follow this path it will be difficult to lay the first material so let's extrude the sketch a little bit to up to 10 millimeters don't merge it and check this box great after that we need to make a little chamfer on this part that we created and the amount of this chamber will be 10 minus 0 0.02 this is the number of our first layer height great and finally let's merge this all together using cooperation combine select all the stuff here combine it also take a little bit of your time so be wise and plane your modeling tree because all the changes super time consuming great all these bodies merged together without any problems so let's see how this looks at the cure for this we need to save it as a stale checks checks wow okay agreed go to the cura now we need to grab our blob test file to the cura sometimes directions of our coordinate systems and rotation don't match so you need to uh, rotate it and be careful with rotation we need to the flat part to be on the bottom of course slice it so basically that's it I think this model will be available on my Patreon only and also a file from the SOLIDWORKS will be here. Let's check the preview and based on my experience that's looking awesome. And quick note and quick advice if you want to increase the thickness of your weights just play around with the scale of the second objects and the number of cuts because uh, the point is you want to these lines to be merged together between each other and then scale it down a little bit more the second object will add, will add the thickness to your base I think you got what I said because my English is superb so see you guys later let me know if you wanted to see the renders tutorials for these phases like I do on my Instagram, yeah.